you are welcome to LFN What's Your Say? The number one listening show, where we discuss real issues with real people like you. We are still featuring R. Kelly. Real name Robert Sylvester Kelly. The R&B King. It's now three years since the infamous Surviving R. Kelly docuseries aired on Lifetime Television, and viewers are still asking why what was supposed to be the most important interview was left out. Public Announcement is an American R&B music group that was formed back in 1991 in Chicago, Illinois, United States, and teamed up with singer R. Kelly for their first collaboration album entitled, Born Into the 90s. The group is known for a number of great songs such as, She's Got the Vibe, Honey Love, and slow dance. Considering these guys started off with R. Kelly, these guys real knew who R. Kelly was, and were there almost all the time to see in case anything went wrong like the series suggested. This leaves us wondering, why on earth someone one making a story about R. Kelly's background would leave the interview out, especially after it was filmed. According to Ricky Webster, someone called him and lied to him they were doing a documentary about R. Kelly, and his successful R&B music career, and that they needed an interview with him. The team came to him with all necessary cameras and lighting and Ricky was wondering, R. Kelly didn't tell me about this. When he asked what the interview was going to be about, the show director told him, don't you worry, we just going to ask you a few questions about yourself, and before he knew it, the interview had already begun. Ricky says he was not into the habit of discussing people, especially for all the wrong reasons, and was therefore hesitant to answer certain questions and to say certain things. He feels his interview was eventually left out because the team did not find anything useful to use against the R&B King. Hearing this concerns not just R. Kelly fans, who feel that this docuseries could be the major tool that was used to send R. Kelly to prison. And therefore, the manner in which they collected all this information for compilation is a very important issue. If people were simply being whisked into taking interviews in the name of something else, this could make people skeptical about the credibility of the entire show. Worse still, if they were deliberately editing out content that could have in a way acted as evidence that R. Kelly was innocent on most of the charges they intended to place against him. This could leave a bad mark on the entire project. I mean, what if they edited out the most crucial parts of these conversations? According to the VLAD interview that featured the two public announcement stars Ricky and Andre, R. Kelly, like anyone else may have done so many bad things in his life, but he is certainly no kidnapper. Dre says it himself in his own words that R. Kelly restricted nobody from leaving. Well, put it this way, he wasn't holding nobody hostage. Let's be clear on that, I can't see that. Whoever wanted to leave the house left he emphasizes. This information corresponds well with that given by Diana Copeland on the witness stand, during the infamous R. Kelly trial back in September 2021. With all this conflicting information therefore, and the way most of the crucial information was being left out, simply hand-picking what to publish, how can we be sure R. Kelly did all the things he allegedly did? There is no way any person whatsoever who wishes to make a documentary about R. Kelly would completely edit out public the announcement contribution. According to Derisha, This has been our lead cause for suspicion that the entire show could have missed out something important. Public announcement played a big part in the making of R. Kelly, and these guys would have been the perfect candidates for this show. However, the producer decided to adamantly edit out Ricky's comments, and this made the entire show short of important information that could have otherwise turned the entire case around. So much about this case involved a lot of handpicking of participants and sorting of information weeding out the most important. If the entire R. Kelly story had been revealed the way it all played out, there is no way Kelly would have been found guilty on all counts. The prosecution wanted wins all over and left no stone unturned to ensure they achieve this. According to Olivia, I love public announcement. These guys made R. Kelly who he is today and never left his side completely. Even after their departure, they once in a while joined him on his tours and supported his music all through. These guys kept no grudge at heart and were all forgiving. In their statements they clearly state that R. Kelly forced no body into anything or even staying with him. 
Their version of the R. Kelly story clearly exonerates the R&B king from certain charges such as kidnap and racketeering. These are gray areas on which many of us believe R. Kelly should have been found innocent. But due to reasons beyond our understanding, the jury of six found him not just guilty of all these, but also every other charge that was placed on him. When people are out to get somebody, it's not about rational approach cause nothing else really matters. They simply want to achieve their goals and that's it. Kelly's good side is therefore nothing among the things they were looking for. They wanted to see R. Kelly in prison quick, and whatever Ricky of public announcement said in the interview was not serving their purpose. So what do they do with that kind of material, they simply edit it out and send it to the recycle bin. This sort of journalism however denies the public an opportunity to know the whole truth of what transpired. According to Renee Lard, I do believe that besides all the malicious tendencies by the media, R. Kelly will rise up again. But this time round, he will have to trust God with all his plans. I am so happy to know that he has finally realized that not everyone that smiles at you is a friend, and that you can't help everyone in life. You can only help those that want to be helped and even then, you have to watch them too. God will always show you the people he wants to be in your life and those you should help. God will put Kelly and his children back together again. We love you Robert. We are praying for you and we know that with God in your plans, the best is yet to come. According to Donnelly Franklin, the entire R. Kelly story slowly turned into a sort of manhunt. These guys did a lot of preparation and made sure to take down their hunt with precision. R. Kelly was the victim in this case. If finding the truth was the main goal, why leave out such an important part of the testimonies as Ricky's? If you wish to take part in a live interview discussing any of these topics, let us know by sending an email to sashalfnmedia at gmail.com for scheduling. Thank you for watching today's video, a production of LFN Media, giving you another perspective of issues at hand. We make it our business to keep you updated with the truth amidst the cloud of lies the media wants you to believe. It is therefore important to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and allow all notifications so that you don't miss out whenever we publish a new video.